In this session, we're going to look at the trial balance. Why do we need it? How can it be helpful? Now, most people don't really know what a trial balance is. So we'll start with that. If you click on reports, all reports. And down here on the right hand side, you'll see trial balance. If We just click there. OK, so to explain what a trial balance actually is. At the top, we have the profit and loss account. And at the bottom, we have the first part of the balance sheet and then the second part of the balance sheet. Now, these two columns, the debit and credit, are simply the movement within the month. So here we've only got four days, so there's only a little bit of movement. The ones you're interested in are YTD, year to date debit and year to date credit. If we look down the trial balance, it should always be arranged in the same format. Sales, income should always be on the credit side. Expenditure should always be on the debit side. Now, sometimes you'll see, oh, there's a expense that's on the credit side. Why is this? So it gives you an indication that this item perhaps you need to look into. In this case, if we click on it, we can see, oh, well, we've had a refund from Staples for £83. That must be what it is. If we carry on down our trial balance, we get to our balance sheet section. Now, assets, by their very um, purpose, should always be on the debit side. When you see an asset on the credit side, obviously it shows you that something's not quite right. So again, if we click into this one, we can see that, ah, okay, so someone's posted a sales invoice into computer equipment, therefore we need to correct it. And if you carry on down, you come to liability section. So liabilities, again, by their very nature, should always be on the credit side. And you can look down the list. We've got a historical adjustment of 4,130 pound. Wonder what that is. So again, you can drill into there and see what it is. You carry on down. You'll also see that VAT is looking rather high at £31,000 owed to the taxman, despite the fact that sales are only £28,000. So again, it indicates perhaps you need to look into this section. So if you click on it, right, nothing there. Well, let's start at the end and work our way back. Uh, okay, there it is. So you can see here, 28th of October, import VAT charged by DHL, £30, import VAT. And you'll see someone's entered £30,000. So again, you can go into that item, make the correction, and everything will be as it should be. So hopefully that's given you an overview of a trial balance. It certainly should help you with figuring out where things have gone wrong and why there's differences. Personally, I think once every week, once every two weeks, you should go into your trial balance, just have a quick look down it and see whether there's anything that looks odd. Now, admittedly, this won't find smaller errors, but it will highlight your attention to any large material errors. Hopefully that's been useful. If you want any further information, please do either visit our website at www.7accounts.com or give us a call on 0330 330 7777.